Hello there and welcome to this video tutorial on Elementor and if you've got the pro version they've just released a really exciting feature set in the latest update to their pro plugin and it's called Action Links and you can do some pretty amazing things with it. Now I'm not going to go through what other people have gone through in their videos. Uh, I'm going to go through something very specific that I wanted to work out how to do and that is to personalize a thank you page when somebody has completed filling out the form on a contact page. So uh, as you can see in front of you there is a very basic contact page here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this works. So I'm just going to put in Bob and Bob at Bob.com yep. and uh, put his phone number in Whatever that is, his company is Bob Pty Ltd, and of course his his question is going to be, "Hey there, great contact form." All right, so now see what's going to happen is the thank you page is going to grab Bob's name, and it's going to basically populate his name on the next page. So here we go. I'm just going to send the message. And that's all good. Now it's going to redirect me to the thank you page. And there we go. We've got thank you, Bob. <laughs> uh, so this works for pretty much any name that you put in. So I'm going to put in my name, and just any number, uh, put a test there, put the test. And of course, I'll send that through. And now it's going to populate my name. Cool. So you want to know how it's done? Right. Well, stay tuned and I'll show you in just a moment. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be working on the contact page form itself. So as you can see here, I've got it uh, all uh, ready for me here. So I'm just going to take you through step by step on how to set the contact form so that it gets the parameter and, uh, and it sends all the data through to our thank you page. So you're going to need obviously a, a contact page. Uh, that's, that's one thing. Um, or, or any form really, uh, any form page, um, and a thank you page. So this is my thank you page um, that I've just really quickly set up. So, and I'll be showing you exactly how to add in the parameters to, to, to pull in that, that name. All right, so let's do this. So we've got a form here, so we click on that, uh, click on the form, we edit it. So over in the side here, we've got form fields, um, and we want to pass the name through, okay? So we click on the name, then we go into the advanced tab, okay? And what you'll see here is it's got custom ID. Now, I'm gonna change this to F name. And why do I want to do that? Um, because in the future, I may want to use this site as a marketing machine. And I may want to use the, um, the features that Elementor Pro has just released uh, for the action links. So, you know, sending that data back, to, uh, sending somebody back to the website, um, and it's personalized for them. So I want to collect that stuff uh, at the beginning and also want to set this up so that um, that data gets fed through. Um, I'm not going to talk about how to connect this form to MailChimp or a CRM in any way. Uh, I'm just basically going to be going over how to shoot that first name over to the thank you page so it is personalized. So first of all is I changed that name custom ID to the um, to F name, okay? Now, what we wanna do is we wanna grab this field name. Uh, so what you wanna do is you wanna open up a text editor, okay? So now as you can see here, I've actually got the uh, redirect link. This is what I'm gonna be using. So, uh, so you'll know what your thank you page is gonna be, okay? So that's my thank you page. And then what I'm gonna do is uh, you just add these parameters. So as you can see here, I've got a question mark, F name, which matches the custom ID, and then it's just the field ID F name short code. Okay, so the example would be, you know, like your site. Uh, let's just do this properly. HTTP your sites dot com forward slash. Um, you know, it could be thank you <laughs> or thanks, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so thank you, and then it's going to be um, basically what you see up above. So question mark, uh, F name, equals, and then you can just go grab uh, what you've got in the short code, and that is it. And then what you do is you just copy that complete line there that you've created, 
So I'm going to copy this one that I've created uh, already. And then I'm going to go down to um, Actions after Submit. Okay. So I want to set up a redirect. So when somebody fills this pay, uh, this form out, it, uh, it emails and also redirects them to my thank you page. And of course, when you add the redirect option there, you get the uh, redirect settings here. So then you just redirect to that link that you've set up. Okay, so in my case, it's just that. Then we update. All right, so that's done. That's it, you're ready contact page is completed. So now we're going to head over to the thank you page. All right, so I've just got a very basic setup here. I've got a title, thank you here, and a little underscore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually duplicate this thank you here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm actually going to remove the text out of here because I don't need it. Then I'm going to go to dynamic. And this is, uh, this is where the new action links come in. Dynamic, and then we go down to request parameter. All right, so here we go. Now I'm going to click on the little uh, spanner icon. I'm going to, I'm going to keep that uh, as get, and then all we do is just put in f name, because that matches the ID that we set up in the uh, in the contact um, name field. All right. So now I just update that. Make sure that the contact page is up to date, which it is. Uh, now, when I go and test this, oh god, I hope it works now. <laughs> so I should be able to go, you know, Paul. I'm um, just going to go test and then test, and I'll send that. It's going to work, and boom, there we go. So that's it. That is as easy as that. Now, I want to give credit where it's due. Uh, so um, there is a thread on a GitHub. I think that was it. Um, and we scroll all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, there it is. So I would like to thank, uh, I think it's Rami, if I'm correctly um, saying his name. So yeah, essentially that's where I got that from. And then of course, um, we had to sort of set up the uh, the contact page and everything to, to, to send that data. But yeah, that's essentially it. So thank you, Rami. Um, and also thank you to Elementor and the team over there who are just, man, like they just keep uh, making Elementor just even better every single day of our lives. So kudos to you guys. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope this uh, video has helped. And if you have any questions, then uh, yeah, post it in the comments below. Thanks for watching and take care of yourselves.